So uh, I am with Luxion, and what we've developed is a real-time interactive ray tracing and global illumination application. It's entirely CPU-based, and it's entirely optimized to uh, run on hyper-threaded systems, and uh, makes use of all the cores and you know, threads inside the system. If I pull up my task manager, you can see uh, in this machine we have 24 threads that I'm running locally. Um, we are still um, optimizing the load balancing, so right now on our higher core machines, we're getting about 76, 80 percent somewhere around there in real time. If I use my offline renderer though to uh, render out anything, I can. Uh, you'll see that it makes use of all all the threads in the system. I'll do a real low resolution test just to uh, show you the thread activity. We'll go 600 by 27. As soon as I press render and it sends it over to our offline render, notice that it makes use of 100% of all the threads inside the system. So it's incredibly efficient, highly optimized, and it is near linear um, scaling. So if you go from two to four processors, you're doubling your performance. If you go from uh, four to eight, you're increasing your performance again. And you can essentially cut your render times in half. Stop this. On. Um, I'd like to show you some of the real-time performance here. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, show you how the uh, how the lighting works. It's all HDRI based. So if I bring back my environment, you can see that that's what's casting the light into my scene. Okay. And if I pull up my environments, I'm going to go ahead and load a new one here. And I'm going to load this living room scene. Drop that in there. And you can see that all the lighting reflections changed to match uh, this HDRI image that I have here. If I rotate around, you can see that it's full 360 degrees of an environment. And if we zoom in here, let's start editing some materials and seeing uh, what kind of performance we can get in real time uh, with, uh, with the key shot. So we have a nice high resolution uh, ray tracing image going on here. We're at 1583 by 900. We can make it a little bigger. Okay, so 1919 by 900. And let's go in here and we'll change the material. So double click on here. I'm going to change it from an anisotropic to a metal. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to change the color. As you can see, as I move around the color spectrum, it all updates. And I'm going to go with just a simple uh, chrome look. And I want to zoom in here and show you the level of detail that Keyshot is able to capture. And the only reason is this is possible is because we're ray tracing through the CPU. You can see how fast that clears up, how fast it becomes noise free. If I double, if I rotate this environment, so remember we're, we're looking inside the reflection of the pond here. Position this camera up a little bit, and uh, let's zoom in here and check something out. See now inside the reflection of the pond, we can see what time it was when that spherical environment was shot. Now, oftentimes in CG, the things that make things uh, not necessarily convincing and believable is things are too perfect. So what we can do is we can apply a roughness property to our metal. Now what that's going to do is it will add a slight roughness to the actual material, and light will scatter across the surface before it becomes reflected back to the eye, which will diffuse the reflection. Okay, so let's zoom in here, we'll take a look, and move this over to the side. So, and I can set very small increments to fine-tune this uh, very finely. So if I go 0.02, you can see it added a slight amount of diffusion to that reflection. We'll do something a little more apparent. I'll go 0.005, and you can see now we're diffusing our reflection even more. Okay? Let's do 0.001. See what that gives us? Now we're getting more blurry reflections. I can also use my slider here to increase the value. I can also use my slider to increase its value. Okay. And let's stop, let's stop here and see what that gives us. What are the units? Units. Uh, roughness. Uh, it's just set to a key shot. You can play 